you. What's up everybody, my name is White Dragons and welcome to Summoner. Now, I actually was playing Summoner when Final Fantasy uh, was really popular. And we need to see if we can turn down the music again. Good God, the music's so loud. Anyways, uh, I played Summoner for a while and then actually enjoyed it. And um, yeah, this will be just kind of like a let's play of Summoner. It's a very old game and um, I'll let the game explain itself. I am Joseph of Sarad, Joseph of Masad, farmer, cotter. Plowman, Sahugani, Summoner. God of eyes. Nine years ago, I destroyed the village of Saran with a power I could neither control nor understand. A power passed down through generations for thousands upon thousands of years. A power I never asked for and never wanted. Get out of here. Nine years ago, raiders attacked Saran. To save my village, I unleashed the demon and the demon massacred all in its path. The Rawr. My friends, my family. Everybody's dead. The survivors blamed me, and who else were they to blame? I wore the ring. I called forth the demon. And so I left the ruins of Saran in exile. And Look at that picture. But mm -hmm. I was not alone. Nope. My companion was a vagabond named Yago, an old beggar who had come to Saran the year before looking for the child born with the mark of the summoner. I'm also a priest. Looking for me. Yago said he'd teach me how to Look use that. my gift. That's freaking how to evil. Use the ring that only those born with the mark could use. Dude looks evil. And now we were both vagabonds. Vagabond. And feared. We came to the village of Masad, and I threw the ring down a well. I told Yago to go away and never trouble me again with talk of prophecies and destinies. I was finished with my power. I swore on the graves of all who perished in Saran that I would never summon again. Dude's face is still messed up. But the one thing I tried to escape was the one thing that came looking for me. And that is where my story begins. Oh, THQ. Presents. This is the, the game I was playing. Was 596, Borno Mediva. 300 years oh, after I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. 1,000 years you. after the fall of Ikemos. And 12,000 years after the third Arenagen. And the death of Ura, god of the Sudani. A game developed by... V. Or Vendetta, no. Violation. <laughs> So I think the first portion is the Mura, royal. The usurper, Emperor uh, uh, of Arenia, uh, uh, a realm far to the north across the sea, damn. invaded the shores. Oh, the you had to get raped. I mean, ripped. Led by the infamous four riders, hey, how you doing? Murad soldiers lay Did that dude the just have a blade through him? River. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking. One night, they came to Masad. The soldiers were looking for a boy with a mark on his hand. The mark of the summoner. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go because it's it's keyboard and mouse. So this should be interesting. Okay, welcome to Summoner. This tutorial explains the different ways to move your character and how to control the camera. You can click uh, you can continue with this tutorial by left clicking. You can quit the tutorial by pressing escape at any time. There are two ways to move in the world, Summer. You can click on the point in the world and Joseph will automatically move towards that point. A blue circle will appear indicating Joseph is going. The second mode is travel. It's called direct travel and you can click and hold down the left mouse button and Joseph will move in that direction of the pointer's correct current location. By moving the pointer around the screen, you can make Joseph change directions without stopping. By moving your mouse pointer to the right and left, 
extremes, but extremes, yeah. Extremes. Wait a minute, hold on. To the right and left, extremes. Extremes. That's what it says, extremes. Extremes of the screen. You can rotate the camera around Joseph. The left and right arrows on the keyboard also control the camera's rotation. You can zoom in and zoom out by using the up and down arrow keys, or if you have a mouse, the wheel pushing up and down will also zoom in the camera. Okay, so S basically opens up my skills, W does nothing, AS and AD does nothing, so it's definitely a basically a point and click interesting okay we can pause the game ah oh, sweet okay all right so if we go okay all righty that makes sense we can do it like this we can view the world this is a very old game guys very old game look at the oh look at that face that is the face Alright, um, map, okay, well, as you can see, we have to open up the map, center, okay, we got that, I'm solo, oh, you can tell yourself to go solo, okay, cool, um, uh, what am I doing here, what did I do wrong, oh, okay, I guess this is switch people. Can I walk over this person? Nope, okay. Uh, hello? Is there somewhere I'm supposed to go? Someone like to tell me? Okay, there's water. Can't go in the water. Okay, maybe we're supposed to go over here. Oh, there's a person. Joseph! We worked in the fields planting wheat and rye. The day shadows grew, grew long. Over Nito's hill, I saw them ride. The four horsemen with an army of butchers close behind. Four horsemen. Half men, half beasts, villains from that bard's song. They carved poor somebody in half and attacked us with the arrows of flame. We who survivor are too scared to stay and too scared to run. Well, it's a damn shame. Okay. It's, God, it's been so long since I've played this. I have no freaking clue what I'm supposed to do. Oh, here we go. Gone bad. No! No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh, God damn it. Okay, one of the... One of the Orions have killed... Oh my God, or... That, that says Orions. You might as well say Asians. Has killed a villager. He'll attack you next and you'll have to defend yourself. Here are the basics of how combat works. You can attack an enemy by highlighting him with your mouse and left clicking on the button target. The red bar that appears over your enemy's head is the target's current hit points or HP. The red bar next to Joseph's portrait represents his HP. If a character's HP is low or reaches zero, the character is dead. Once a target has been selected, Joseph will attack and defend against the enemy on his own. It is not necessary to target the enemy again. If an enemy attacks Joseph and you do not respond, Joseph will automatically draw his weapon and defend himself. Well, it wasn't like that in the PS1. Uh, during combat, numbers will appear over the participant's head. Numbers in white represent damage to the enemies. Number in yellow represents damage to Joseph and his allies. Numbers in blue represent the percentage modifiers to the character's attack. You can get a bonus for attacking a creature from above or behind. There's a penalty associated from attacking from below. What? Wait a minute. C attacking creatures from above or behind. There's a penalty associated from attacking from below. The game will now unpause and the or Orion Scout will now attack Joseph. Okay. And this is this is what I started off with. Amazing. Yay, we got gold. Okay, Joseph has defeated the scout. Sometimes when enemies are defeated, they leave items. Oh my god. 
I have no idea where that came from. They leave items or gold behind. When they do, you th this is that uh, when they do this, you can pick up pick them up by highlighting them with your mouse and left clicking on the item. You can also click up on the third mouse button to pick up nearest objects to you <coughs> instead of highlighting. Joseph may have been injured in battle. However, he can be healed either by casting a spell or using a potion from your inventory. To use a spell, you can left click on the spell button on the bottom of the screen or press the C key to cast a spell. To use items from your party's inventory, left click on the screen inventory on the bottom of the screen or press I. So, C. So we can heal. Who are we going to heal? We're going to heal ourselves. Oh, look at that beauty. Beautiful. Alright, he's dead. So where are we going to go now? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, he's dead. Oh, this person's dead. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm trying to help you. Wait, hold on. Oh, I lived a fool and now I'll die a fool. An old martyr's dream made me fight. I beg of you, bring my, this sword to my nephew, heirs. My grandfather's grandfather made this sword and died long ago in need of heal. He was a f he was Falcone Falcon Eyes Falcon Eyes standard bearer and great and the greatest warrior in our village. The blade is ancient, but it, I've carried oh I've cared for it. Well, look how it gleams in the sun. Uh, lineal, lineal, never. The blood of my ancestors sanctified this soil. I will die here or live forever, but the dead have no use for swords. Give this blade to my nephew. He lives in Lineal. Do you see this serpent coiled around the hilt? That's a, that's a, a hint right there. Farewell. Alright, well, he's dead. Alright, anybody else? Oh, in the fire? Nope. Oh man, these were good times. As he's in the controller for this, it's crazy. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Come on, let's go. Let's go up the road. And it wasn't. This was like the first time I actually experienced like oh like non-open world but linear worlds. It's awesome. Oh, there's an enemy. Get him. Get him. Oh, we should have first hit. Get him. Oh. Somewhere along the way, you can actually chain attack. And the sundial actually, I believe, does move. So you eventually do, does get dark. Oh, dude. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh. You better do something. Can we cast a spell? Damn, I had to do nothing. They broke the monotony. Wow, this guy is like parrying the shit out of everything. Wait, there's a penalty. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remember, they said there was a penalty for being below a target. Shit, I totally forgot about that. Okay, C cast. Alright. Heal. Two. Damn, dude. Check the stables. Oh, I hear horses. I can't see shit. There we go. Oh, what's this? Who's this over here? Oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. Shh, the ruins are about. I hear the rattle of their swords. They'll kill you all one by one, but they'll 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 not find my hiding place. Yes, and it's mine. I was here first, lad. So go away. You can't hide here, too. There's room enough for one, and one alone. You'll get us both killed. Where should I go, then? When you go to Lenil, behind the walls of the King's City, you'll find sanctuary. There, the knights of the lords of the medieval will protect you. How do I get there? 
That's your problem, right? Not mine. But here, take this vial with you. A smooth tonic will heal your wounds if the wrens get you. Get a piece of you. Oh, I know how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this horse. Wow. Really? They won't even let me use the horse. Uh, let's see. Let's heal up ourselves again. Why the hell would I want to heal a horse? So stupid. Okay. More horses? Just kind of like checking out the town. You may have missed something, may not have. The laughing monk? Really? Huh. Okay. It's cute. Because he's a monk. I mean, the guy's a monk. Monks get drunk. Oh, hello. Get him. Wow. Get him. He blocked. Oh, God. Come on, kick his ass. Good job. Okay, there's nothing there. And yeah, we went to the barn already. Come on, go this way. Oh, I have to point at the floor? God dang it. Oh, there's another one. Get him! Get him! I think there's a day and night cycle in this game. Not 100% sure. I killed him. And I need life. Badly. Uh... Yeah, one more time. Ow. This is one of those serious uh, games, by the way. I mean, you had to pay attention to everything. Sorry, I was reading something. I'm trying to get something to drink to at the same time. <sighs> Grizzle D, sponsor. What's this? Okay, combat. Swords. Spells like a heal. Okay, that's general. Quest. Nope. That's a spell book. Look at that face. Urgh. He's melee. Oh, that's right. You can change him. I want to keep him melee for now. Um. Actually, what we're doing here is we're trying to level. Give me levels. I can't, I can't walk up that. It's crazy. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here. I don't remember doing anything. Oh, there's one. Get him! Uh-oh. Oh, he dodged it. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Picked up eight gold. Pretty good. I'm rich, bitch! Hmm. Oh, there's one right there. You see him? Just kind of standing along by himself. Get him! Oh, he blocked that one? How? Ooh. Come on, dodge it. There you go. Good job. Oh, shit. Gut shot. Good job. And, yeah, oh, he, admit, he dodged. What a cheapskate. Okay, and slice. Woohoo! I can't remember if this is for a quest or not. I'm so pissed if this was. Uh, 
yeah, I think I'm gonna pause the video for here, for, or from here, uh, just because I wanted to play it. I just got it, um, and yeah, it's a pretty good game. It looks like I cut my teeth RB, RPGs on this one. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Likes and comments greatly appreciated. As always, we do this for fun, not for profit. Yes, you're getting this lovely entertainment. Oh, hurry! Yeah! So, alright, guys, bye!